kind of come full circle. Joey's back in the band, you're back with Jackson. How did all of this happen? Wow. Um, well, back with Jackson is the easy question. Uh, I'm back with Jackson because you, Nick Wilcott, <laughs> I was like instantly in my head, I was like, I, I gotta go back to Jackson. Like, I, I never stopped playing my Jacksons, even all through these years. Like, on uh, every record and every tour, I've still played my Jacksons, even though if I was using a different type of guitar, I was still using my Jacksons. So, um, it only made sense to me to come back to the guitar that I started, you know, my career with and spent, you know, how many years and years and years playing Jackson. So, um, it, was, it wasn't a very hard decision. How did, the, um, how did you get involved? What started you love Jackson in the first place? Actually, I used to go to 48th Street in Manhattan where all the guitar stores used to be and I had a lot of friends who worked in those stores and um, so on my lunch hour from work I would just go hang out on the block and just sit and sit in the stores and just play all the guitars and uh, in 82 I think I played my first Jackson. I had played Charvel's a lot up until then like the early Charvel's but then I think I played a Randy for the first time at Sam Ash at some point in 82 and uh, just fell in love with it. I thought it was the coolest looking guitar. And just sounded great, and felt great, and uh, just so metal looking. And, and that's I ordered one. I ordered one from the custom shop from Sam Ash, like late '82. And it took months. Like I didn't get. I think it took close to six months for me to get the guitar. But it was worth the wait when it came in. And um, I mean, I used that guitar on the first Anthrax album. It's the guitar I used on Fistful of Metal. It's the guitar I used on Spreading. I used it on most of Among the Living. Like. It's still just such an insane sounding guitar. So it's just based off ordering that Randy Rose and just it being so unbelievably amazing. Um, you've got two variants of the new signature coming out. Can you tell us a bit about that guitar? What sets it apart from the others? Yeah, the, the new signature is basically, um, it's based off a soloist that I had built for me I want to say around 86 or 87, somewhere in that zone. Uh, I had this soloist that I used to play. It was a black one. It had the NY logo on it, and it was fretless from like the 14th fret up, and it said not. And it was just, it was my second best sounding guitar. The Randy still was my best sounding Jackson, but this soloist, it had something. It really had something. And uh, um, uh, one of those guitars still to this day that I use when we're in the studio, just because I, I know it has this darkness to it that I'll, I'll use for certain rhythm tones. So I basically felt like the new one should be based off of that thing because that thing sounds so good which was maple neck i mean sorry uh, uh yeah maple neck ebony fingerboard and the uh, mahogany body with the maple top and i don't know if that's the, the magic you know combination for that guitar and it just works and we also decided with the new solo was to make it a quarter of an inch bigger basically all the way around because my only complaint about the old one is I just felt the body looked too small on me. So I just wanted a little bit bigger of a guitar so it just fit me better when I was holding it. So we, we kind of blew up the body a little bit, added this contour for where I play so I don't tear my arm up. And uh, it's exactly, I just knew it. You know, I knew, I, as soon as you sent me the prototype, it was right, it was right, right off the bat. Like the first, first try, it was right. And, and uh, that's how it is with me for Jackson. Like I, I know they're gonna work. Like uh, there's no question. Like is it gonna sound good? I just know it's gonna sound good. And, and there are two variants. There's one. Like, yeah, there's a single single humbucker model, which is kind of like my. I've always been a very much of a less is more kind of guy when it comes to gear, and um, I really don't need much more most of the time than just a pickup and a volume. That's all I need. You know, just go. So there's the single pickup model with you know with, with just the volume, and then the other model is two pickups and with the Floyd option as well, and um, and they're both working great. I mean, for me that's that covers every bass I could ever possibly need between the two guitars. Like I I don't need anything else.